Good morning, brothers and sisters. God bless you. It's another beautiful sunrise morning on the way to work. We will get started right after the pump. <coughs> First John 5 through 10 is one of the greatest explanations for the duality of man. And I want to explain the duality of man to you this morning. Because I made a comment to Brother Frank via text about it. And I think it's important we understand this. There's two sides to every person. There's flesh and spirit. Carnal. And righteous. How can the two come together? And become righteous as one is a question you have to ask yourself. Well, <clears throat> two things have to happen. <clears throat> one is to acknowledge your sinful nature and confess it to God and acknowledge that you battle it every day. The second is acceptance to Christ. <clears throat> and yielding to his rule, his standards, his ways. And learn what he asks of us every day. And applying it to your life. Because carnality, which is your flesh will do things that pleases itself. It's very selfish, very vain, very narcissistic, and very self-important. It tries to find ways to justify its own worth and its own value over its merit. Versus the spiritual side, which seeks the benefit of others first to the glory of God, seeks pouring out your heart to everything else around you versus your own needs. And that can be to the point of self destruction. But see, these two constantly battle each other. And Jesus said there's a war in your body over flesh and spirit. But this is the war that's been going on for eons, even before you were born. The difference is how you apply and you live for God. Every, everyone knows the scripture about no one lights a lamp and puts it under a basket. We've all heard that story, but never understood it truly, I guess. But it's the same story of the duality of man. We fight ourselves more than we realize. We beat ourselves up more than we realize every day. Because we don't understand the authority that is given to our spirit. Not to our flesh, but to our spirit. Over flesh. We have to quit yielding our members to the flesh. And yield them to the spirit. And that spirit in turn yields their power and their authority to God. But how to get two to, come, two to be on the same page flesh and spirit is to put the flesh in subjection under the authority of God sounds pretty, sounds simple but it isn't it isn't honestly because every day you wake up there's something that's going to anger you there's something that's going to set you off there's something that's going to push your proverbial buttons the difference is, is realizing that you're getting angry. You're getting hurt for no reason. Anger is 
the after effect of whatever's going on in your mind. Anger is what's getting you in trouble and hindering your witness. It's what's preventing you from living fully to the glory of God. So friends, I'm going to say this. Brothers and sisters, I'm going to say this. Once and once, and that way we can all understand it. And I don't bore you to death with ramblings. <clears throat> you are in authority. Your spirit is in authority over your flesh. What you allow your flesh to do is on your spirit once you're under the authority of God. You will be held accountable for the actions you do. And it's either A, going to destroy your witness and testimony, or it's going to expand your witness and your testimony. Make the decisions that matter. You have to make the decisions that matter. Don't think I'm telling you guys like I'm not doing the same thing. Because guess what? I've got to do the same thing. I'm learning to do the same thing. Because things right now aren't going good for me. And I'm battling things. That I've been battling for years. For that same reason. It's by experience that I can come to you and tell you this. Without shame. Without guilt. But everything I talk about here. I am learning it too. I am a work in progress as well. I'm not above you. I'm not beneath you. I'm with you. Let your light shine. Be a beacon of light by example. Don't hide it anymore under a mask here. So let us pray. Heavenly Father, we just come to you right now, Lord. We thank you and we praise you. And we give you the glory, O oh God, for waking us up today. Lord, give us strength. Give us peace. Give us hope, O oh Lord. Lord, give our brothers and sisters strength who are battling all manners of medical issues, financial issues, societal issues, Lord. Give them strength to be overcomers, not succumbers. Lord, we just again lift up our brothers and sisters. We've made our petitions known, O oh God. We wait on you, O oh Lord. We wait on you, O oh Lord, to deliver us from the hand of the enemy. To deliver us out of the hand of the wicked, O oh God. And give us peace. That passes all understanding, Lord. Forgive us our trespasses, O oh God. As we learn to forgive the trespasses of our enemy. Lord, give us strength to ask you every day to bless our enemies. Even though it's a bitter pill, Lord, give us strength to ask you to bless our enemies. And even so, Lord, bless them. Lord, again, we thank you and praise you for this day. And we give you the glory. We give you the authority in our life. And we give you the praise, O oh Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Love you guys. God bless.